हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एस जी क्लासेज तो गाइस एग्ज़ाम डेट्स रिलीज़ हो चुकी है एंड एडमिट कार्ड्स भी आ चुके हैं आई होप आप सभी ने डाउनलोड कर लिए होंगे और प्रैक्टिस खूब ज़ोरों शोरों से चालू होगी तो गाइस अभी हमारे पास जस्ट पूरा एक महीना ही है जिसमें कि हमें रिविज़न भी करना है एंड क्वेश्चन uh, भी प्रिपेयर करने हैं सो गाइज़ प्लीज़ फोकस कीजिए अपने गेट एग्ज़ाम्स पर और अगर कुछ आपको क्वेरीज़ है या कोई किसी uh, टॉपिक से रिलेटेड आपके कोई प्रॉब्लम है तो प्लीज़ आप कमेंट करके पूछ सकते हैं या मेरे टेलीग्राम चैनल पे भी मुझसे पूछ सकते हैं तो थर्टीन फेब का संडे जो है फर्स्ट फोर नून सेशन में एग्ज़ाम है आर्किटेक्चर का तो गाइस प्लीज़ प्रिपेयर अपनी तैयारी को स्टार्ट कीजिए अगर नहीं किया तो और वीडियोज़ को दोबारा दोबारा रिपीट कीजिए खुद से सॉल्व करने की कोशिश कीजिए जिससे आपकी प्रैक्टिस और बेटर हो सकती है एग्ज़ाम्स के लिए और मैं आपको आप सभी को बोलूँगा कि न्यूमेरिकल क्वेश्चंस पे थोड़ा फोकस ज़्यादा कीजिए क्योंकि उसमें नेगेटिव मार्किंग नहीं होती है और उसमें टू मार्क्स स्कोर कर सकते हैं आप पर क्वेश्चंस में तो इसलिए बेटर है कि आप आ, उन क्वेश्चंस को भी फोकस कीजिए तो चलिए आज की वीडियो स्टार्ट करते हैं सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एज पर एन बी सी टू थाउजेंड फाइव बट इज़ द मिनिमम फायर रजिस्टेंस रेटिंग फॉर ग्लास फसाड इन हाई राइज बिल्डिंग्स सो गाइज फॉर हाई राइज बिल्डिंग्स एवरी मटीरियल यूज इन फसाड इट कैन बी ग्लास और और एनी मटीरियल वेयर वी वॉन्ट फायर रजिस्टेंस सो इट शुड बी मिनिमम वन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स ओनली वन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स मीन्स टू आवर्स सो हेयर आंसर इज टू आवर्स ए तो गाइज आंसर यहाँ पे ए होगा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द पर्पज ऑफ सीजनिंग ऑफ टिम्बर इज ए इंक्रीज द वेट ऑफ टिम्बर बी रिड्यूज द मॉइस्चर कंटेंट सी रिड्यू रिमूव वर्ड्स एंड डी चेंज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ ग्रेन्स सो आप सभी को पता होगा सीजनिंग ऑफ टिम्बर सीजनिंग ऑफ टिम्बर मीन्स टिम्बर और वुड हैज़ टू गो थ्रू अलॉट्स ऑफ सीजन्स टू फॉर द बेटरमेंट वी एज वी ऑल नो सीजनिंग एज द वुड इज मोर सीजन्स द वुड इज मोर बेटर टू यूज सो आफ्टर द सीजनिंग ऑफ टिम्बर वेट ऑफ टिम्बर इज ऑलवेज रिड्यूस्ड सो हेयर ए इज इनकरेक्ट नेक्स्ट रिड्यूस द मॉइस्चर कंटेंट वेन द टिम्बर इज सीजन मॉइस्चर कंटेंट इज ऑलवेज रिड्यूस्ड इट इज करेक्ट नेक्स्ट वन इज रिमूव वर्ड्स एज द मॉइस्चर कंटेंट इज रिड्यूस्ड एंड द वेट ऑफ टिम्बर इज रिड्यूस्ड सो चांसेज ऑफ वर्ड इंक्रीज इज हाई नॉट रिड्यूस्ड सो इट इज नॉट करेक्ट so last one is that it change the direction of grains no it cannot change the direction of grain so answer here is the reduce the moisture content so answer is c so let's see the explanation seizing of timber is a process by which moisture content in the timber is reduced to required level by reducing moisture content the strength elasticity and durability properties are developed in timber so a well seasoned timber has 15% moisture content in it so only 15% moisture content will be there if a season is a timber is well seasoned and what are the three advantages of building of seasoned wood it reduce inspection of decay and st uh, stain fungi seasoned wood dried to a moisture content of less than 20% below the fiber saturation point will ultimately prevent the onset of stain fungi and decay it always reduce the weight it increase the strength and the stability so moisture content reduce hota hai and strength and stability increase hoti hai so answer is b let's see the next question close contours of decreasing values towards it their center represent let's understand this question as we have seen a lots of contours diagrams or so 
when it close contours so close contours of decreasing values like this is 100 90 80 50 towards their center as values redu reducing towards center so it represents a river bed a saddle or pass a hill or a depression firstly you all know what all the four options means or how it looks so let me answer this question first and then explain it better in a pictorial or in graphical image form so when the contour lines of decre contours of decreasing values towards their center it represents a depression so answer here is a d but let's see all the four types so i have taken this uh, image from the test book reference so let's see so let's see the saddle or a pass so like this is a hill if you see in this image if this is a hill so these two are saddles the higher points and the lower points is the pass so a saddle or a pass so ans you might say the answer will be pass can be pass but in a single option a saddle or a pass but in question decreasing value so for saddle value cannot be decreasing at center because if we taken it as a center the value is increasing at center so saddle is not correct that's why this option is whole incorrect so for a hill if a contour is if a contour value is increasing then it is a hill like 80 85 90 95 100 105 so contour value is increasing towards center it represents a hill and if a contour value is of decreasing value towards its center it is a pond or we can say it is a depression for a ridge line this is as different from this question but it is important from the exam point of view so ridge line is where the contour is graphically moving so all these are moving in this direction so this is a ridge line and this is a valley line so a ridge and valley are also opposite to each other so if a value is decreasing towards the ridge line towards outside if a value is decreasing towards the outer side or opposite to center then it is a ridge line if a value is decreasing towards the center then it is a valley line so ridge value is increasing at center for a valley value is decreasing at center i hope you understand this question this is very 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 important from the exam point of view to understand this let's move to the next question the performance of a specific task in critical path method cpm is known as so dummy activity event or a contract so when the performance of a specific task is performed it is known as the activity of the task so let's say every every act event occurs and the performance of those events at a specific task is known as activity so if you say event a b c d e but when the event is about to complete this is called as activity so a dummy activity let's see from the starting what is dummy a dummy activity is a uh, simulated activities of sorts one of that is a zero duration 
and is created for the sole purpose of demonstrating a specific relationship and path of action of on the arrow diagramming method so dummy activity zero duration zero durational activity hoti hai jiski koi duration nahi hoti but wo relate karti hai ek specific task se jo ek direction follow karti hai towards the uh, success or uh, towards the completion of the project like if you see in this diagram activity 1 2 3 and 4 are there so to complete the project 1 2 and 3 are di different activities but three activity is only performed when 1 and 2 is completed we can move to the fourth uh, fourth activity also uh, from the 1 to third and third to fourth but third cannot be started until activity 2 is completed so to show the relation first and second when completed then third activity will be started so this indirect relation between 2 and 3 is known as dummy activity so it, it has zero duration but it shows the relation uh, specific relation and path of action next is an activity an activity is an actual performance of the task and requires time and resource for its completion so agar is event a event mein duration hai means require time ko require karte hain and resources bhi chahiye usko uh, is activity ko uh, is event ko complete karne ke liye then it is known as an activity so it is the work related to complete a specific task or a event an event is a specific instant of time which makes the start and end of activity so event kisi activity ke start hone ka and end hone ke point ko show kar raha hai so an activity is like an event is a specific instant of time which makes the start and end of an activity event consumes neither time nor resources activity consume time and resources not event so do not confuse yourself इवेंट एक्टिविटी और टाइम और रिसोर्सेज को कंज्यूम नहीं करती जबकि एक्टिविटी टाइम एंड रिसोर्स को कंज्यूम करती है एंड ए कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ए कंस्ट्रक्शन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज ए म्यूचुअल और लीगली बाइंडिंग एग्रीमेंट बिटवीन टू पार्टीज बेस्ड ऑन पॉलिसीज एंड कंडीशन रिकॉर्डेड इन डॉक्यूमेंटेड फॉर्म सो इट इज एग्रीमेंट बिटवीन टू पार्टीज वैन बोथ पार्टीज आर म्यूचुअली एग्रीड ऑन ए सर्टेन conditions it termed as contract next question part technique of network analysis is mainly used for so part i hope everyone has on program revolution program evolution and review technique so part technique of network analysis is mainly used for not for commercial projects not for residential projects research and development projects deterministic activities so part is not a deterministic activity firstly so answer d is not correct then we can see at option a commercial projects part can be used for commercial projects but if we see the options commercial residential research and development project so most appropriate answer here is research and development projects why research and development projects because it is calculated for the three different point of times in which first we considered as the best time means the time at which all the favorable conditions occurred and the project is completed at the minimum point of time so when all conditions are good and as per the requirement then it is termed as pessimistic time then the most likely time the conditions or uh, situations when the uh, when the situations are normal the, then the project completed is termed as the most likely time and the optimistic time when the f conditions are worst in the project at that time the optimistic time so per technique of network 
analysis is mainly used for research and development project it doesn't mean it cannot be used for commercial projects or residential projects. it can be but mainly used for research and development projects so answer will be c let's see the explanation it is a tool used to schedule organize and map out tasks within a project part stands for program evaluation and review technique it provides a visual representation of a pro project's timeline and breaks down individual tasks to perform part analysis you need to provide three estimates of activity duration a pessimistic time an optimistic time and a model estimate or we can say most likely time these three estimates are used to obtain a weighted average that is assumed to be a reasonable estimate of the activity jabki aap sab ne cpm mein dekha hoga critical path method technique mein usme hum project ki duration easily nikal sakte hain but in this case only weighted average is considered so answer is c let's move to the sixth rooftop rain water harvesting system followed in rajasthan is known as so rajasthan mein kaun sa rain water harvesting technique use kiya jata hai tankas kults bawlis aur guls so rajasthan in rajasthan rain water har harvesting technique for rooftop is tankas let's see a tanka this uh, first picture is uh, is a image for the tankas so a tankas are also known as tankas or kunds in a traditional rainwater harvesting technique common to the thar desert region of rajasthan so tankas are for rajasthan there are lots of other techniques also used in rajasthan but for rooftop rainwater harvesting tankas or we in, in normal local language we can uh, use as a tanki but tankas so next one is mandaks are the most common traditional rainwater harvesting structure and mainly used in the litrite belt districts of dakshin kannad and kasargod in karnataka and kerala respectively so mandaks this is more mainly used in कन्नड़ एंड कासरगोड इन कर्नाटक एंड केरला सो बाउलीज व सेक्युलर स्ट्रक्चर फ्रॉम वेयर एवरी वन कुड ड्रॉ वाटर दिज ब्यूटिफुल स्टेपल्स टिपिकली हैव ब्यूटिफुल आर्चेज कार्ड मोटिवस एंड समटाइम्स रूम्स ऑन देयर साइट्स बाउलीज विद इन विलेज वर मेनली यूज फॉर यूटिलिट्रियन पर्पजेज एंड सोशल गैदरिंग्स बाउलीज आर ट्रेड बाउलीज ऑन ट्रेड रूट्स वर ऑफन फ्रिक्वेंटेड एज रेस्टिंग प्लेसेज स्टेबल्स यूज एक्सक्लूसिवली फॉर आर एग्रीकल्चर हैड ड्रेनेज सिस्टम डेट चैनल वाटर इन टू द फील्ड सो सेकेंड इमेज शोज द मंडक्स सो इन दिस दिस वॉल इज क्रिएटेड एंड वाटर विल फ्लो इन टू दिस सो water is collected in this area so this is also a one kind of traditional technique the third one is the bawlis these are the bawlis and the last one are the guls or we can say kuls sometimes kuls and guls are similar so in hilly region people build diversion channels known as kuls or guls in the western himalayas for agriculture it is a traditional irrigation system in himachal pradesh where the water is released when required so there are a lots of other techniques let's see those like johards panam keni khadin ahar pens johards this this is the first one is a step well this second one is a talab and bandi these are bawri these are ahar pens these are khadins nadi बावली कुंड सो ऑल दीज आर ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल टेक्निक्स देर आर लोट्स ऑफ अदर्स ऑल्सो बट मेनली आई कवर दिस टू शो यू लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए सेप्टिक टैंक इज ए पी इज एरेशन टैंक सेटलिंग टैंक एंड डाइजेशन टैंक सो वी हैव टू आंसर इन ए सेप्टिक टैंक विच थ्री आउट ऑफ दीज थ्री विच आर द प्रोसेस इज यूज और विच Uh, which of these tanks are used to complete a septic tank so a septic tank 
is doesn't include aeration tank because in, in this bubbles are not mixed uh, specifically in septic tanks so in aeration tank bubbles are used to float uh, to to get the floating material so not aeration tank settling tank yes settling tank is used in septic tank to segregate or separate the heavy and the lighter uh, paste and digestion tank no it is not included in septic tank so as you see in the diagram so septic tank aeration tank is a sludge tank process where air is added into the water to encourage microbial growth the microbes in the water feed in on the organic material and form focus on then settle out but here water is uh, sorry air is not added to uh, encourage microbial growth so that's why it is not included in septic tank yes the flow of water through the water settlement tank must slow down sufficiency for suspended solids to settle out yes it is included as you see in the image the sludge is settled out and sludge digestion is a microbial process in which organic solids are decomposed into a stable substance most large sewage treatment plants used a two stage digestion system in which organics are metabolized by bacteria and abricol in absence of oxygen no so this is also not included so answer is b only question 8 name the first state in india which has made rooftop rainwater harvesting system compulsory for all houses hold across the state so the first state in india which has started the policy or scheme for the roof rooftop rainwater water harvesting compulsory for the, all the households which has started in 2001 by tamil nadu so tamil nadu is the first state in india which has the main made rooftop rainwater harvesting system compulsory for all the household across the state so tamil nadu is the correct answer the term municipal solid waste is generally used to describe waste for industrial process mining waste waste from home commercial space commercial establishment or industry institutions and last one is the agricultural waste so basically if we divide uh, one uh, on the basis of segregation of waste there are two types of waste municipal solid waste and the non municipal solid waste so municipal solid waste are considered as the waste from houses institutions commercial spaces so all such spaces waste are considered in the municipal solid waste whereas in the non municipal solid waste um, waste from the industrial process mining waste agricultural waste industrial waste all these are considered as non solid waste non municipal solid wastes so answer is c so municipal solid waste includes all the items from house business that uh, people no longer have any use these waste are commonly called trash or garbage and include items such as food paper plastic textiles leather wood glass metals sanitary waste in septic tank and other waste and non municipal solid waste is any non liquid waste that is created due to production of a product this type of waste is categorized even more and includes mining waste agricultural waste industrial waste so answer is c let's move to the last question of today's video what is gentrification so in options a policy aimed at renovating inner city council house stock so no gentrification is not a policy then next one is building shopping center in cities to create employment that is a central business district which creates employment for the peoples to create different centers in the city the movement of middle class into the suburban areas that is urban sprawl not the gentrification and renovation of run down city neighborhood to attract high income group yes gentrification is defined to renovation of run down cities neighborhoods to attract high income groups so let's see a detailed explanation so gentrification is a process whereby the character of poor urban areas or the urban area which need to be developed 
is changed by wealthier people moving in, improving housing and attracting new business, open, often displacing current inhabitants in the process. Next one is a suburbanization or we can say urban sprawl is a population shifted from central urban areas into suburbs resulting in the formation of urban sprawls. A central business district is a commercial or business center of a city. It contains commercial spaces and offices in large cities. It is often synonymous with the city's financial district. Geographically, geographically it often coincides with the city center or downtown. So, answer is D. I hope you, you all like my videos. प्लीज़ अगर आप सभी को मेरा वीडियोस पसंद आए तो प्लीज़ कमेंट लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब जरूर करें एंड अपने फ्रेंड्स से भी शेयर करें एंड गाइस ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर द एग्ज़ाम्स एंड प्लीज़ प्रिपेयर हार्ड थैंक यू